I love my mom, but she knows that. I complain about the dumbest shit growing yeah. up and she always just she always hates it when I mention it on the podcast. She's like, it wasn't that bad. You make it sound so bad. <laughs> yeah, of course. Okay, that's so, such a that's okay. such a parent thing. Yeah, so, 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 so we dude, we were not, I don't know if you rather, you had the same thing. Mm. We were not allowed branded products. Like this yeah. is like so if there was like if there was toothpaste, we, you bet we're getting like Tesco's own. If it was if it was crisps, it, it, you no way in hell are you having Walkers. Yeah, it's, right. it's Tesco's or Little's own. Yeah. Everything was like the store brand version of right. everything because right. my mom believes she she my, she just cannot fathom. She's like they're all the same. Mm. And okay, listen, there are some products I'm with you on that, right? Yeah. Some products are the same branded. But get the fuck out of here. If you think that little crisps taste as good as Walkers, they just, <laughs> they flat out just don't. Because I did, there's this one time I had these, they're like, they were like snack, snack of bites or some snack of ease or something. There was yeah. some shit name. The packaging looks God awful and they taste like ass. <laughs> I opened up this bag and there was just a brick of like ash. It was like co coagulated crisp that had been burnt to death. Oh and my it, God. it just came out of the bag and it was black and it just got ash of like crisp ash all over my desk. And yeah. I was like, wouldn't happen with walkers, mom. Your wouldn't mom is literally the epitome of we have walkers at home. Yeah. <laughs> I, I just hand to a bag of ash. It was literally just a bag. I kept making. I like. I was such a little shit kid. I was like, nah. she was like, hey, don't you want a bag of Chris? I yeah. I want a bag of Walkers. Yeah, because <laughs> the kids at school always had the branded snacks, and they were they were so fire, dude. Yeah, of course, yeah. so good. Of course, I, yeah. Because like for me, I was like exact. I had like exactly the same thing. But with technology, yeah. right? It was, it was like- No, God, you have your Ouya. You don't need an Xbox. <laughs> <laughs> no, like, cause you I- You don't need an you want to Zoom. Yeah. Yeah, cause cause I, remember, I remember the first phone I got, cause like uh, back when mobile phones started to like get oh, introduced, yes. right? The brick phones? Everyone had the fucking Nokia the 3310, yeah. right? right? And I was just like, damn. I wanted to get it, not to get a phone, but to play Snake. Yes. Do, you, do you remember Snake? Yes. Snake was yes. like Gold. the yes. coolest fucking game. Hell yeah. You're like, this, this goes it. on forever. Yeah. And I was just like so disappointed when I got my first phone and it was like a like a, an un, I can't even fucking remember the brand. It was like <laughs> one of the cheapest fucking phones you could buy in like phones for you or some shit like yeah. that. Yeah. And I was just, I remember they had like, they had games on it, right? But they had this like, the it was, it wasn't even Snake. It was like a very, very mm. cheap knockoff of Snake. Yeah. And I, it was it was pure copia. Me playing this being like, guys, I'm having fun. This is kind of like Snake. It's Cobra, it's Cobra it's, guys. It's, it's Cobra. Cobra. <laughs> I, I, my mom was very much against getting me any of us a mobile phone. Yeah. And mm. she, she didn't for a very long time. And then she eventually caved when pretty much everyone else had, the, had one. Mm. And my mom was like, well, I guess I don't, I don't want to get bullied, so fine. Yeah. But, yeah, but I'm not buying because back then you had to top up, right? As well, mm, you had to mm -hmm. put like yeah. ten pounds. Oh on yeah, it. yeah. You, you didn't text because texting was expensive. Yeah, and you had 140 character limit. OG Twitter days, you had to like fit everything in, yeah. and yeah. if you didn't, you were fucked. So yeah, I mean, it took a while, but I got it. And yeah, all I did was just send funny Bluetooth videos to each other. Mm -hmm. We'd have like the, what was that one video where it went down like the meadow? It was the shit car and like, doo, doo, doo. Oh, and scary, then would, scary and video. Then it would be like, ah! The scream oh, one. Yeah, yeah, that yeah, one yeah, 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 yeah. Classic. Shit like that. And for some reason that was the funnest shit ever. <laughs> We're so fucking dumb, these kids. <laughs> now they get to do, now kids, bro, they can have everything. I can't believe I was entertained by that dumb shit. I, I know. Right? I remember, oh my God, you just unlocked a memory. So I remember <laughs> like, it was my second ever phone I got yeah. and like, you know, what I'm, was it? What I'm, was the phone? Do you remember it what it was? It was the Motorola Razor. Oh, oh, the black I one that, looks, that so has the cool. button on the side Damn. and it like goes like that. Joey's parents wealthy. <laughs> no, no, no. So I'm so I'm the oldest, you know, sibling, right? Uh, I have younger yeah. sibling, right? But like, you know how like it's very traditional where it's like if you have an older sibling, right? You yeah. usually get their hand-me-downs for yeah. a lot of yeah. things, right? I didn't have an older sibling to get so my hand-me-downs from. I got it from my dad. Oh, oh. <laughs> so as I had this like shitty fucking phone, I don't even remember the brand of it. My yeah. dad had the Motorola Razor. And then when my dad was like, I'm going to get myself a fucking Blackberry. Yeah. You can have this fucking shitty Dude, Motorola Razor. Kids had the Blackberry back in the day were like the coolest shit. They were yeah. the coolest shit. I don't know why that was like the hype. But I remember I got the I got the you know, the Motorola Razor, right? And this was around the time where you could start to get, use like, you know, custom ringtones, all right? This is like the shit back in the day where it's like, oh, you Lord. could like, yeah. you know, yeah. download ringtones or like, yeah. you know, if you figured out a way to like, kind of like, uh, you know, pirate ringtones, right? And <laughs> yeah. then put them onto your phone. You were like the cool kid at yeah. school. Yeah. And I remember I was like at home and I was just like surfing around and I'm like, man, all my friends around me have these fu cool fucking custom ringtones. It sounds so cool. I want one as well. So I started looking it up. Yeah. And I, and I remember I found a site that was like, you can get, get this, the Super Mario Brothers theme 
as a ringtone on your fucking Motorola Razr. And I was like, just ten dollars, dog. <laughs> this is it. And so I fill in some shit, and I have it on my phone. Yeah. I go to school the next day, and I'm like, check this out. Show them the ringtone. They're like, yo, that's sick as fuck. A month passes. My dad storms into my room. Oh no! <laughs> and, no. And, he, and he's like, son. <laughs> Why do you have a $2,000 phone bill? No! no! What? <laughs> well, what the fuck? It turns out the thing that I clicked was a pop-up ad and uh, they were taking money from <laughs> my fucking parents' account for like three or four weeks. <laughs> and like, I don't remember the exact amount it was, but it was like, it was four digits. And my dad was so- Did you, did you have to pay it? Uh, yeah. No, and he was like, Bro. "Where the fuck did you find it?" Uh, he I, canceled it, and I'm like, I, but "I've he never got pay like the two thousand. Yeah, and I never got the biggest, and I had the biggest beating of my life. Like <laughs> I was like half dead by the end of this. Bro, I think I think the bloodline would end there. Yeah, if that yeah. was my kid. I'd yeah. be like, yeah. "What yeah. the fuck?" I remember, like, I don't know how we got resolved because obviously I was very young when it yeah. happened. But like, by the time I realized it, I was like, "Oh, the Super Mario Bros. Yeah. ringtone is gone from my phone." <laughs> so you, bought, you paid two thousand dollars for the Super. <laughs> Mario Brothers ringtone. It was like at least a thousand dollars. Oh my god! <laughs> yeah. So uh, yeah, don't don't do that. Is uh, is the thing. But like, yeah, but you were the cool kid in school for like a, for, for like about a day. for about three weeks. Yeah, I was the cool kid in school that had the Super Mario Brothers ringtone. Man, I, I and kids were like, "Yo, where the fuck did you get that?" And I, I'm not telling. Dude, I, you know what's I, I fuck. I'm trying to. Have you ever been scammed? Yeah. You have? I was, I was, I was thinking about the same thing. While I was like, "Have I ever been?" I'm, scammed? Yeah, I'm trying to recall if I've ever been scammed. Yeah, I don't yeah. think I've ever been scammed. Luckily, that was the only time I got scammed. Thank yeah. God. But uh, yeah, that was uh, scary. Oh, God. Yeah, because uh, I remember the first time. Like, I, I was also a kid, right? Yeah. I didn't. I didn't. Well, that's even, the, the main target is kids. Yeah. And elderly people. Yeah, pretty much. That's a huge scam. Yeah, yeah. yeah. It's, it's like I could not even perceive like the the the, the like the even notion of being scammed. And I remember we, uh, this is, oh my God, this is like unlocking a memory right now. Mm. It's, I, I remember we got like some spam mail. Mm. I now realize it's spam mail. Mm. But at that time I had, I got this mail in and I remember it's from, it was from Reader's Digest, right? <laughs> okay. so I don't know what that is, but it was, I remember it was a company, the company was Reader's Digest. Uh -huh. And it was, it was uh, a mail that said, you have, uh, you have passed the next stage of this raffle that you've entered. Mm. And I'm like, what? We've entered a raffle? Yeah, yeah. And we're past the next stage? I'm like, what? <laughs> Mother, we are about to be rich. And it was just like, we, cause like- I didn't they, enter they, a raffle. Yeah, 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 yeah. I couldn't, I, I didn't even think that we didn't even <laughs> enter a raffle. <laughs> I, the question. I, I was, did, we, did we enter? No, 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 no. I want, I want, I want. Yeah, yeah. So, so I saw like the prize money and I saw that we'd enter the, ne that we'd enter the next stage. The prize money was like thousands of thousands of, of course, dollars yeah. or something mm. like that. Um, but there was this this raffle, this competition was like several stages, mm. right? And mm. I remember the second stage only had like a few more participants left. And to get to the next stage, you had to buy one of their books that was like 25 pounds or something like that. Mm. And I was just like, mother, we've already had zero investment in this raffle. We have reached <laughs> the next stage. May I procure your credit card for just a moment? <laughs> While I buy this other book. Mother, you know what they say, yeah. you gotta spend money to make money. Yeah. So, uh. and so, and so I think my mom, like, I, I, I don't know. I think my mom just went with it one because I just seemed happy yeah. and two, just as a learning experience for yeah. me, right? <laughs> so I buy this book, this fucking book gets sent to my house. And of course- At least you got a book. Huh? At least yeah, you got yeah, a book. yeah. I got yeah. a book about from Reader's Digest about the fucking architecture of castles in Edinburgh or some shit oh, like that, that, right? That and, then, and then, so we get the book. Yeah. Then we get a note with it saying, congratulations, you've reached the next stage of it. You've been oh, successful in reaching wow. the next stage in the raffle. Uh, to reach the next stage, you have to buy two books. And I'm like- Oh my God. Like, Mother. We are too far in now <laughs> to say no, okay? There are only a few participants left. And I think, I think she let me go for about two more stages. Oh, no. and, I, and I was just like, mom, we're too deep into this to like give up now, mom, Wait, please. How many please. books did you end up with? I saw we had like fucking five or seven <laughs> books. Hey, at least, books. Got, at least you got seven books about lovely castles. Yeah. And then, 
<laughs> and then she and then she was like, no, I just gone. You're a fucking idiot. Okay. Do not do this again. Do not fall for this again. Okay. And I was just like, what do you mean they were lying, mom? We're almost there. We're this close. We're this close to winning the grand prize. And that was my first scam that I ever fell for. Damn. Um, I, hey, at least you got seven I, books out yeah, of it. <laughs> I got seven books out yeah. of it though. So, so one of the main reasons, people are, you know, people uh, that scams are so successful is people don't talk about it when they have been scammed. There's yeah. a lot of shame around it. Like yeah, people yeah. are too ashamed to admit they've been scammed. Oh yeah. yeah. Which makes sense, right? Because mm. if, if you've been scammed out of a significant amount of money where it affects your life, then yeah. Mm. I, you know, you would feel stupid, mm, but yeah. you know, that's mm. valid, but you, you know, you still should talk about it because the main reason they keep getting away with it is because people don't know about it. Yeah. yeah. Dude, I, okay. There've been countless occasions where between the ages of like 16 to even like now, I've like, there've been some emails that are so goddamn convincing and good yeah. and came at like, because obviously they send these emails out in mass, yep. right? Yeah. And obviously every now and then they'll send you an email at the exact right time mm. when it, you just, you, you're like, huh? You know, like for example, like a, an Amazon refund scam or something. Yeah, like yeah. Maybe you just hit the refund button and then a mass scam was set out just by happenstance, yeah. right? Yeah, yeah. And then you're like, huh, I'm, I, I guess I have to claim the money now? Okay, yeah. that's weird. So you kind of fall for it, right? But then obviously the more you look into it. Mm. Yeah, I, I've nearly fallen for scams like that a few times. I remember there was one where it was like something to do with, um, uh, my, I, I just submitted my tax refund. Pretty easy to figure out, right? Yeah. Figure out April or whatever yeah. right? in the UK. And it looked really convincing. The website was really legit. Everything looked good. I typed in most of my information. I hadn't hit send or anything. And I thought, well, hold on a second. Let me go back and have a look more at this email in depth. And saw that, like, like you know, the easiest way to tell is sometimes the sender mm. yeah. has a shit email. Yeah. But even then, like there was that one YouTube scam that went around for, a, do, do you remember the scam? That yeah, was I remember big? the scam where it was like- a It was from like, you. Google, uh, something at google.com. Yeah, yeah, yeah. And if something's from google.com, uh, that's normally like the actual Google yeah. services. Yeah. And for some reason, YouTube allowed, uh, Google and YouTube allowed this to happen where they were like, your AdSense is gonna be terminated. And that's obviously like, wow, this is- That's fucked up. Yeah. This is this is something that is very uh, pressing. And it was the way that they had worded it was something, something along the lines where it, it sounded believable because I f fell into that category of whatever they were saying. And I was like, mm, what yeah. the fuck? I nearly fell for that one too. I was like on the Google Messenger chat talking to this fucking weirdo trying to scam me. Yeah. Mm. Nearly fell for it, but didn't. Damn. It's yeah. hard, man. No matter how screwed on your head is, man, you can- They, they, the right, they always find- They're just the getting more and more the, clever. The yeah. right, the right mm. scam at the right time, can, yeah. you could fall for it. Like mm. you might think you're like ironclad and you'll never fall for anything, but yeah, yeah just the right timing on it. Bro, you could be cool. Well, like mm. YouTube has a fucking massive problem right now with, I, oh I don't know God, if you guys have it. The bots, on like Bro. every reply for every fucking it's comment, it's I so swear. Fucked. It's like, it's always the first reply yeah. and it's always you, you know? <laughs> yeah, it'll be like, it's, it's, you, it's always you. It's always it's, a raffle. Yeah, yeah, it's always you, but usually it's like slightly misspelled. <laughs> yeah. Yeah. It's like, it's the Anamu man. <laughs> but it's the same profile picture. Yeah. It's like, oh yeah, it's probably him. Yeah.